on the road again. Heading to the Mystery Tiger Box house right now. Go see what the other guys are doing. I think we're gonna try possibly some pond hopping, which I haven't done in a while. The situation we have today is 30 mile an hour sustained winds. That is no fun. Now after being on the lake for a couple days during cold fronts and getting beat down by the fish, having the wind just blast you is no fun. Gary? Gary? How are you today, sir? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Gary might need to be fed. He looks a little, uh, when he starts kind of following you around a little bit, that's when you know he's getting pretty serious. He wants his Wheaties. All right, Gary, there you go. It's in the corner. There you go. Yes, there you go. Up, up, yep, done. When the clouds are moving that fast, it's a bad deal. That's lake wind, what is it? Lake wind, wind lake advisory, I think, for the next two days. Dad gummit. Is the truck working? The windows don't work, but other than that, I think it's working. Oh, there she blows. Smell and a taste of old fashioned America right there. Wait, is this a Dukes and Hazard style deal or what? <laughs> Try and get out. Uh, does it have a... <sighs> what do you think, Perry? Are you able to do this? I don't know. We're about to find out. We gotta see what this baby's about. We're thinking about taking this down the road about 40 miles. This is a test run to see if that's even possible. <laughs> at this point. All right, we're gonna clutch in. Oh, brakes are a little, yeah. Woo! Wee hoo! Yeah! Smell America in here. 40 miles is looking kind of tough at this moment. Maybe a uh, close mission. We're gonna have to find some ponds that are nearby. I think it's been decided that uh, free range truck is not good for road trips. We are not gonna take that vehicle all the way out to a uh, pond about 45 minutes away. We're gonna put it back in safe storage. Bob is going to take the truck for a, uh, to put it back in its cave. There's a wasp. Crazy. We gotta put this thing. Careful, this is my truck. Don't mess it up. Is there gas in here? A little bit. Is that the gas cap? For your boat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it needs one. She's put away for a while. We're gonna have a contest to win that truck through Free Range Coffee. It's a really cool collector truck. It's fun to drive. Not exactly great for road trips. So we're gonna jump in uh, one of our uh, trucks and go hit some ponds, or go hit a pond, a fishing freak that I know of. Oh, top side, isn't it? Yeah, y'all welcome. That one right there. I'll put this that one. Thank you, bud. Right there. Right there on that little clip. It's time to go fishing. Out here, Brian again. Hey, yo. Uh, we were hunting last time. Stephanie saw our first bobcat ever. First hunting experience ever. That was pretty special. I kind of forgot about the size of this pond that you had here. It's just such a windy day. We're like, man. Don't really want to go out in 10 foot waves on the lake, so let's try this little doodad out. So, hooked us up this afternoon, and it is looking 
pretty good for 30 mile an hour winds, I should say. Is that right? That is correct. Beautifully the done. Juice. Beautifully done, Colton. Okay. Can't go wrong with a little shad, shad style stuff. Let's go check in with Peric and Matt. We got Peric and Matt with me today. I heard Peric yelling a second ago. He's tossing a frog already? Was he broken off? What is he doing? He's already walking back looking disappointed. God, that's uh, not working out. Spinnerbait situation is a little tough. The amount of grass. It's going to get him though. It's going to get him. I'm going to come in and hammer <laughs> down. Go find the Mondos? I'm going to come in and hammer down on an eight. AP Bassin, what are you doing with your life? You caught one? How big was it? Little guy. Newborn? Yeah, it's pretty shallow over there, so I think we're going to head this way. Okay, well, you got a frog, you got a jig. I'm going to throw a spinnerbait or two on. How many uh, How many casts have you taken? I've had none so yeah. far. We've been here for a while. What have you been doing? I've just been waiting for you guys to clear out the little ones. Oh, got you, got you. This is always a good moment to film. I feel like if Peric's doing something like this. Oh, sure you don't want to crawl under that thing? Yeah, you could just go right under right over there. Oh, but, you know, oh God. Don't compare the thing. Oh, God. Oh. Lululemon pants are getting all... <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> that will be a win for the day, I feel like. If I catch another fish, it'll be a win. Oh. What? Got camera shy. All right, what's the magic, gentlemen? Chartreuse and little. Chartreuse and little. Chartreuse and little. There we go. Beauty for our first what fish. Uh, Jake. Is that your first Texas bass? That is my first Texas Heck bass. Heck yeah, dude. That's pretty awesome. Walked up at the right time. How about an H&H, &H, dude? H&H. &H. Wow. Walmart's. <laughs> Bear goes, wow. <laughs> what would you do if this catches like a six? Uh, I'd just go home. This line is terrible. Just go throw away all your war eagles. Yeah. You spent $1,000 on. All right, I gave Matt my swim bait. I gave him my secret weapon. I am going to throw this. This is a 12 pound test right here, a little H&H &H spinner bait on the six stick. This is the 7.2 medium heavy and it is perfect. We're throwing like little quarter, three, ounce, three eighths ounce uh, spinner baits, chatter baits, things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and say these fish are probably right around the bank. Oh man, got him. Got him on the spinner. Come here, sir. Yeah, baby. That H&H. &H. Getting it done. 99 cent special. There we go. Cool. This is just a little walk method right here. Walk method, chunking close to the bank. This ought to be really good too because the wind is blowing on this dam. Supposedly there's some crappie in this lake too. And if we catch crappie, we might need to take them out. That's what Brian's trying to do here is, he's caught some big bass out of this place, but having crappie in there, they spawn first and they will actually end up eating the bass fry when they're small crappie. Because the bass spawn after the crappie. So could catch some crappies in here is what I'm saying. On a day like this, you are not gonna be throwing a Senko. It's just not, it's not happening. It's not in the cards. Too much wind, it's gonna put too much bow in your line. It'll never get to the bottom. It'll never even sink. That's where the spinner bait and the chatter bait are crucial. <laughs> hey, we got a crappie. Crappie time. You wanna keep it? Yeah. Okay, that's a hammer. We should. <laughs> That's a little bass muncher right there. Yeah. Pond management here. These guys like to eat the bass fry. And they're fun. They're great to eat. Not so good for the bass population if you're trying to grow big bass. So Brian's giving us the okay to cooler this one, right? Put it in the grease. You can then put it in breading uh -huh. or milk or whatever. Uh -huh. This is good tips right here. I learned it in Manitoba from this super old timer. It's like a, it's not too spicy, but it's like a buffalo chicken tender. Oh, it's okay. And it sticks? Yeah, it sticks. Beautiful. 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 Okay, get your way from the water there, Whoa. bud. I'm going I'm to target some dinner here. Okay. Hey, you get this Minnesota boy Where do I go? out here catching fish. Yeah. The trek, it has begun. Did you get the anchor? No. Don't, don't put your sail up. I might just not. 
I think old Magic Matt just hooked up on the biggest one of the day so far. Really? Oh yeah, he's got about nice. five or six over there. Cool. Yeah. Let's swim bait. Right on the bank. You're doing, you're doing things. I think the swim bait. The swim bait has commenced. It's the champion. What we got going on here with the tail here? Something happened in there, I'm not sure. How's the ride out there? I caught some fish though. You wouldn't happen to have a little quarter ounce chatterbait on you, would you? Yeah. Laying on the tailgate? Little Kitek swim baits. Yeah, I took two of those. <laughs> I was thinking that's got to be the money, and I went over to my tackle box. I was like, "Where did that little thing go?" Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, Woo! Like I saw that. It's nice, dude. Yeah, I caught like ten. Yeah, I saw you. You were on fire over there, yeah. dude. It was fun. You want to go on the yak? I don't suggest it. Cold. They went up to the crappie pond. Well, we have caught some fish. We've got our lines tight. We're gonna go check in with uh, Brian and Colton to see if they've caught any crappie. They've moseyed over to the little crappie hole. Hopefully they've got a stringer and we can take them home and put them in the grease. Oh, we're going into the woods. Need a man of the woods to get back here. Do they get eaten? I see their tackle box. Nothing? There's only one copy in there. That's it, huh? Where'd they go? Is there gators in here? <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Are we at the scene of a crime right now? Well, I am not sure where Colton and Brian went. Uh, they seem to have disappeared. Their stuff's here. There we go. Oh, we walked down there. We did Cash see money. Yeah, we got dinner, boys. Is that a boy? that holy cow you did your duty we were kind of worried we, we went gator. down there and we saw your stuff we we're like is there gators in here <laughs> so this is for the there we go the old, the old gator the old gator getter hey gator getter hit hey. all right i'm glad to know you guys are alive and have we have dinner nice for... crappies Yo. perfect Kula o crappies boys ready to get out of here successful day successful day i think this is yours thank you brian Hey, you the man. Pleasure. Yeah, it's good, hey, good to meet you. Yeah, thank good to meet you. Again. Absolutely. What are you thinking, Colton? What's well, the jam? I am about to show you the ultimate recipe I learned from a local in Manitoba. Got some secrets to share, but can't quite share yet. We well, got to uh, get through these fish. I'm going to leave this for you guys to watch. You guys can go check out Colton's tips on the AP Bassin channel. Jacket. Link down below. We had a good time today, boys. We did. It's good. We, we finally caught some fish in a uh, weird weather Texas uh, week. It's been bad. It's been bad. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to check out the Catch and Cook, make sure to go check out AP's channel. And you guys already know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. It's free and easy. We're going to continue to battle the wind. The weather's going to be bad in the next couple of weeks. Don't worry. We're going to stay after it. Stay positive and get it done for you. So thank you for being here on today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cash money, we got dinner, boys. Man, no,